Good afternoon and welcome to the channel. I'm Heath and today I wanted to video somewhere a little bit different. Um, I've done so many videos of the beach and so many drone videos of the beach that I wanted to show you somewhere different because I've, a few people have asked me about Second Road. Now this is the road that runs alongside uh, the beach road. It's a bit further back be behind the beachfront condos. And I'm going to go up there now and I'm going to cycle along there and show you what that road looks like. There's not a lot going on in that road, but it's just somewhere different. And I'm going to answer a few of your questions while I'm going along. And one of the questions that I've been asked recently is about how do I manage with the language difference here with the Thai people? And I'll, I'll have a good chat with you as we're cycling along. So thank you for watching. Okay, I'm now on the second road. Now this is this is um, outside the Lumpini condo, so it's down the far end of Jom Tien. And the road behind me, if you follow second road, it goes up onto the Sukhumvit road, which is the main road in Patia that goes all the way through Patia. Okay, I'm going to put the phone on my bike and um, let's go for a ride. Oh, by the way, yes, I do have my crash helmet with me, but I'm not going to show you because it looks stupid but I'd rather look stupid than crack my head open. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is the far end of Second Road, just before it turns up onto Sukhumvik. Not a lot to see, but it makes a change from the same scenes I show you. I haven't cycled for a while, so this might be a bit of a task. 60 mile, no, 60 kilometers speed limit. I don't think I need to worry about that. nice day, not too hot, a bit breezy. I might try and get the drone in the air, so I have that with me. I'll see how it goes. So thank you for everybody that comments on my videos. I do try and reply to all the comments that I can reply to. I mean, there's one or two that, you know, there's no answer for. Okay, we're approaching the, Ch the Chaya Prook Junction. So look up. One of the questions people have asked me about, how do I get on with the language difference when I live here? Well, actually that's quite easy to answer because, you know, if you go somewhere like Patia, Jom Tien, Chiang Mai, Bangkok, Phuket. They are tourist destinations, so there's always going to be people that speak English. And if you're in a shopping mall and the assistant doesn't speak English, you just give someone a nod, they come over, and, and they'll be able to speak English. There's always people that speak English here. However, if you want to live here, you really should learn oh, a little bit of um, the language. I went to school for one year, which is actually down here. I might be able to show you. And I learned, it was hard to, it is hard to learn, I've got to say that. But I do know enough, you know, how to order something in a restaurant and tell a taxi where I want to go. But I really, I'm not fluent enough to have a full conversation in Thai. But I do understand it. Sometimes you hear it and you understand it, but it's very hard to actually repeat it because it's a very tonal language. Here on the right, on the, sorry, on the left, <laughs> got the Riviera. 
actually, I'm going to send my drone up on the other side of the road there and show you. I do hope the drone footage came out okay because I lost sight of it at one point. Okay, what I'll do, I'll cycle down as far as Rumpole Market because that's where you turn left into Trapire Road to go to Beach Road. So, yeah, at least it lets you see what Second Road looks like. That's the Welcome John TM Beach Hotel. I've done a video there. You might have seen that video just as it was reopening after COVID. Yep, Soy Wat Boom here, some bars in Soy Wat Boom, quite a few actually. Quite a busy drinking soy. So you've got your 7-Elevens and a few bars down this end here. I haven't actually tried these bars, I must check them out. And here's the John Tian Beach condos here on the left and the right. I used to cycle 75 kilometers each week. Now I have trouble just getting up a hill. Yeah, and the Riviera Ocean Drive on the right here. Down here on the right, you have Rumpel Market. Done loads of videos there. Let 
Masala Twist, the Indian restaurant here on the left. A really good Indian restaurant. It's actually the only Indian restaurant I go to. There's your Soy 7 on the left. And here you have Soy 5. Now, you can't get to Soy 6 from Second Road, although there isn't really anything in Second Road, uh, in Soy 6, apart from massage shops. But you do have Soy 5 here on the left. That's where you'll find immigration. And I did this video about this um, actor, Mit Chang Bang Cha. I take to that at the end because he's got a little memorial here on the right. It's an interesting story about this actor who died while performing a stunt being filmed down here on Dong Tang Beach in Zhong Tian. So check that video out if you haven't seen it. Now you see the blue signs there on the right? That's the language school where I attended school for one year. Did I learn much? Yes, but it is difficult. I'm taking left. This is the road that goes into John Tien. To Prior Road. Lots of bars. It's quite a good road actually. And I've already done a video from here to Na John Tien. Okay, that's second road. Not a lot to see, but down this end there's a, a few more bars. But John Tien gets quieter the further you get to Na John Tien. Anyway. And here's the Royal Golden Arch, which I always comment that is actually blue, so why it's called that, I don't know. Okay, thank you for watching. I really appreciate all the likes and all your comments. And I hope that shows you Second Road coming down towards the Trapaya Road. Right now I'm on the corner of the Trapaya Road and the Beach Road. And that's where the video ends. Thanks for watching. Have a great week or a great weekend. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.